Hi my friends, Sam Villa here. And here I am today with Katie who has very, very fine hair. And what we want to do is Katie's saying, I want to keep my hair the length, Sam. I'm just looking for a small trim. Yet in the same time, what we want to do is we want to enhance the texture and be able to give her an enhancement of volume. Give her a little bit more floatiness with this hair. So what we've done is we've gone through and we've taken a square section into the top area and we zigzag that. By zigzagging that, it's going to make the layers that I'm going to put into it very transparent. We're going to come through and we're going to isolate the underneath. We're going to isolate this with an elastic. And it's going to help us keep control of the top hair as we're cutting it. As we release it and it falls, I'll be able to locate it and pick it up again if I need to. Remember, we've talked about zigzagging the hairline and maintaining the perimeter edge of weight. Same idea here, but look how high my zigzag is based on the rectangle section I took on the top. Now, we're simply going to take horizontal sections and what we want to do is we want to actually go in and slice into fine hair. That's right slice. We want to maintain the length, but I want to go through and just bust up these ends, but make them light. That's where slicing comes in. So the idea is this, is we're going to cut it dry versus wet. Less versus more. Meaning when we cut dry, we're going to slice out less. When we cut wet, the hair gathers more, you're going to have the opportunity to slice out even more hair. So think about what you want to do. With fine hair, I'm going to suggest let's go in and slice when it is dry. Now, I'm going to take our slide cutting shear. Now, our slide cutting shear is made specifically for slicing and for slide cutting. The blades themselves curve out, so it pushes the hair into that slicing motion. So it allows you to leave a little bit more weight into the hair, but more importantly, it's about the angle. So it's about the angle. Now I love to tilt it against gravity because once I go in and slice, look how I am come in at it. I'm not going to slice yet. I come in at it at an angle. If I go in and I slice perpendic excuse me, parallel with the hair, then I'm just taking out weight. So what I want to do is go in, take a small amount of length, and that's why I'm choosing to go on a diagonal. Now it's just a real simple just flick of the wrist, just coming through and just slicing and taking out what you want to take out. As I'm going through and slicing, it's so important not to abuse the cuticle. That's why this shear was made specifically for that in the way that it curves, the blades curve away from each other. So as I'm going in slicing, I'm lightly closing the shear and then just letting the flicking motion take the hair out. Let's take another section. In this particular case, we're going to release each section that we do so that we're not over slicing it. Come into another section. Watch how I'll tilt into and allow the hair to fall with gravity. This allows me to once again go in diagonal to that section. So I come through, place, and I flex just as I go through that. I flex just a small amount. So I'm taking just a small amount of hair out and away. Now we come through. Let's take another section. Now, slice, slicing is a great technique, but what we have to do is be careful and understand that if we don't have the right angle, we don't have the right blade, we're going to go in and disrupt the cuticle. And that's one thing that I don't want to do is disrupt that cuticle. Notice how I'll go in and I close as I'm coming out, so I'm taking out some of that hair. Okay, last section coming through, elevating up, tilting. And let's go through and just take out that length that I see here, just slice some of that out. And now take some of that weight out. And it's just a matter of letting the shear catch. You will feel it catch. I feel it catch. But what I don't want to do is just keep it there and just start sliding. I want to come through and just give a slight closure as we're coming through. It's really important you understand that when we slice, you have the ability to alter the texture of hair. But more importantly, you can also go in, if you're not careful, create damage on that cuticle. Now, let's take a look and see what we've done. Look how much we've lightened the existing layering that she had. We've just lightened that out. So when we take out the ponytail, she still has all of that weight and length. But when we tickle the hair, you can just start to see how it looks like it's been cut with a razor. One of the best ways to go and un understand things is number one, understand the limits and capabilities of your tool and understand the limits and capabilities of the fabric that you're working with. Fine hair has a lot of problems at Sam Via. We will continue to give you the solutions with fine hair in terms of how to work with it. Remember, zigzag sectioning 
and the technique of slicing is great when done properly with the proper angle of the blade and when you're working with a shear that's specifically made for slicing and slide cutting. At Sam Villa, we'll continue to bring it to you, my friends. I want to thank you so much for watching and once again, continue to be who you are, a professional behind the chair.